India Ari is a four-time Grammy Award winner for her work as a singer, songwriter, actress, and record producer. Over the course of her career, she has sold over 10 million records globally. Ari Simpson was born on October 3, 1975 in Denver, Colorado, to Joyce and Ralph Simpson. When Ari was 13, her parents split and she moved to Atlanta, Georgia with her mother and siblings. When Ari moved to Atlanta, she began to learn to play the guitar. Ari afterward learned to play the saxophone, baritone clarinet, and French horn and trumpet. Ari studied jewelry design at Savannah College of Arts and Design. She would finally give up on this in order to devote her full attention to music. It would be great if you could like and share this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon next to it to get notified when we add new interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get back to the story. Ari and the artist later created the music group Groovement after collaborating with other local Atlanta artists. The group was quite popular, but R.E. was found and got a deal with Motown Records in Los Angeles, California in 1999. She began her solo career there at the age of just 24. R.E. is well known for composing songs about female emancipation and criticizing social beauty standards. Acoustic Soul, R.E.'s debut album was released in 2001. The Music Industry Association of America certified the album Double Platinum. Voyage to India, Ari's second album was released in 2002. The RIAA certified it platinum as well, and it won Best R&B Album at the 2003 Grammy Awards. Ari's success continued with the publication of her albums Testimony Volume 1, Life and Relationship, Testimony Volume 2, Love and Politics in 2006 and 2009 respectively. Her second studio album, Testimony Volume 2, debuted at number 3 on the Billboard 200 chart. Ari took a break from music for a few years before releasing her fifth album, Songversation, in 2013. In 2015, Ari released Christmas with Friends, a joint album with musician Joe Sample. She released a song called Breathe in 2016 in response to the Black Lives Matter movement and the killing of Eric Garner. Ari published her first EP, Songversation Medicine, in 2017. Ari has four Grammys and is nominated for 21 more. She also had two BET Awards, four NAACP Image Awards, and five Soul Train Music Award nominations. The singer's musicality and ability to combine singing with live instrumentation earned her acclaim all over the world. Ari is well known for writing her own music, which she takes great delight in. She is also well known for her work in promoting positive images of black people. Despite having been around for nearly two decades and receiving Grammy Awards, the gifted vocalist has just recently achieved her first number one single with a song documenting black love at its pinnacle. Acoustic was her debut album's main single. The song peaked at number 47 on the Billboard Hot 100 and number 14 on the Hot R&B Hip Hop Songs chart in the United States. Ari's message of self-assurance was lauded in the song. Ari discussed what prompted her to write the song in 2017 interview with Ebony Magazine. She told the journal that declarative lyrics were inspired by a tumultuous childhood laced with verbal abuse. I'm not your average girl in the video. My worth is not determined by the price of my clothes. Video was her most popular song prior to her number one smash in 2019. Video was nominated for four Grammy Awards in 2002. Despite the fact that she did not win, she performed the song at the end of the show. Video became a cultural sensation, appearing in the first season of Newsroom, as well as an episode of the Disney animated show, The Proud Family. Ari's acoustic went on to be certified double platinum. She eventually won four Grammy Awards for other music, including the award for Best R&B Album and Best Urban Alternative Performance. Her music continued to chart and she toured the world. She continued to infuse her smooth voice with her guitar playing skills into her shows, setting her apart from many artists she competed with. It would take Ari 18 years to top the Billboard charts. Her November 2019 single, Steady Love, landed her a number one single. Though many artists would be discouraged by the long road to number one, Ari spoke to Billboard with pride about her new history-making record. I love it. It's cool to be 20 years in at this point and have a number one, she said. The thing that makes it really cool is to be with people who support you to work hard enough to get something to number one. The song became her 15th entry on the adult R&B songs chart and 8th top 10. 
The video features rapper and activist David Banner as her love interest. The two have undeniable chemistry on screen, and it was important to the singer for the images to match the lyrics and showcase black love. The video currently has over 42 million views on YouTube. Ari said that she credits the recent increase of black films showcasing the beauty of blackness as why Steady Love became her first number one hit. There was an era in like 2008 to 2012 when people thought that was boring, she explained. After what was that movie, Black Panther, it was interesting to be cultural again, be spiritual again, and be black again. People are hungry in a different way for what I do now. With this new accomplishment, Ari looks forward to creating more positive music that makes a real impact on people's lives. Her songs address a wide range of subjects that speak to the soul. She discusses subjects such as racism, religion, and self-love. Nothing is off limits. When this singer-songwriter releases an album, listeners get an inside look of Ari's thoughts and personal adventures. If you have not already, here are five reasons to fall in love with India Ari. 1. She was born to be great Ari's father was an NBA player in the past. Her mother was a Motown singer. When she was a teenager, she opened for Stevie Wonder and Al Green. It was not simply her parents, she hails from a long history of artists. Every member of Ari's family sings, dances, and plays an instrument. As I grew up, I was always playing music. It was all I ever did, she told Relevant Magazine. I had a natural talent combined with musical training. She had no idea that singing amid the trees in Atlanta, Georgia would pay off so well. Fans have not been the only ones who have praised her abilities. Other well-known musicians definitely appreciate what RE brings to the table. She has worked with performers from all walks of life, including Carlos Santana, Adele, Erica Badu, Stevie Wonder, and famed pianist Joe Sample, to mention a few. 2. Spirituality guides her through life's difficulties. She was nominated for seven Grammys in 2002 and lost in all of them. This was widely regarded as the worst Grammy rejection in history, and it devastated Ari. I let go in 2009, Ari told her label imprint Soulbird. I realized I had to seize the opportunity to create the career and life I desired, rather than accepting what others wanted me to do. So I decided to retire and seek God to show me where I should be. Ari realized she no longer wanted to perform in order to fit in with the music industry. She let go of other people's expectations and began writing for herself again. Three years after her retirement, Ari released her fifth studio album, Songversation, which was dubbed Chicken Soup for the Soul by Vibe. The record was an aha moment for the soul singer. In the interview, Ari stated that with this album, she stepped into her own authority for the first time. It is about not having anything to prove except to simply express myself because it is who I am not as a means to an end, she concluded. Chasing and topping that is not for me. It is about becoming more myself in both my personal and professional life. India Ari promotes mindfulness through prayer, meditation, yoga, or simply observing silence. The soul singer revealed to Oprah Winfrey that she had a spiritual awakening after years of therapy and meditation. Ari's aha moment came as a result of introspective practices and it inspired her current EP, Songversation, Medicine. My wish is that these songs bring softness, clarity, calm, and inspiration, Ari said in an interview with the South Florida Times. 3. She encourages self-love. India Ari is a symbol of power and self-acceptance. I am not the average girl from your video, and I am not built like a supermodel, but I learned to love myself unconditionally, the lyrics say. India's inspiring remarks are crucial in a world where far too few women understand their value. Ari revealed in an interview with Oprah Winfrey that when she released uplifting songs like Video, she felt anything but self-love. She said that the ideas she imparted about accepting oneself were affirmations of how she wanted to feel. India, despite her confident demeanor, Ari was plagued by self-doubt. Your real job in the world is to be you, she told Oprah. Comparing yourself to others, I think it wounded me the most. Because Ari was never the prom queen or the it girl, she felt out of place in the music industry. She did, however, clarify in her interview that she can now firmly claim that she loves herself completely. I'm not the voices in my head. Her lyrics have progressed beyond simple affirmation. They are evidence of her inner development. Indy R.E. shows us how we should feel, but she also realizes that fully loving yourself is a lifetime effort. Basically, even if we may not feel like it right now, we are all queens. 4. 
She values her roots. India RE's music, in particular, strikes a chord with African American women. I am not my hair. I am not the skin, RE sings in the song. I am not my hair. I am not your expectations. Despite movements such as Black Lives Matter and Black Girls Rock, African American women's attractiveness is widely underappreciated. According to a 2016 study conducted by the Perception Institute, black women who opt to wear their natural hair are faced with bias at the workplace. Several African American women told Team Vogue that wearing natural hair puts them at risk of losing their career possibilities and subjecting them to harsh workplace criticism. India RE does not simply accept her ancestry. She openly revels in it. Despite the fact that her family line in Mississippi dates back many generations, Ari almost always wears traditional African headscarves, outfits, and jewelry. Her mother, as her stylist, sews many of India's clothes for public appearances and performances. A DNA test revealed that India Ari is descended from several tribes in the African countries of Sierra Leone, Liberia, and Guinea-Bissau. Ari does not merely pay homage to Africa and African-American hairstyles and clothes, she literally respects and loves the skin she is in. Her song, Brown Skin, openly challenged Eurocentric beauty norms by showcasing the beauty of melanin. Given recent developments, this positive representation of the black community is just as important to show now as it was in 2002. Her music is becoming political. Number 5. Unfortunately, police shootings of unarmed black individuals are not new or uncommon. Although they have received increased public attention in recent years, India in July of 2017 released the tune Bree as an homage to the Black Lives Matter movement. Black Lives Matter is characterized on its website as an ideological and political intervention in a world where black lives are systematically and intentionally targeted for extinction. It affirms black people's contributions to society, our humanity, and our tenacity in the face of lethal injustice. Breathe provides solace to individuals who feel helpless in the face of misfortune. Messages such as, fight for your life in the face of a society that does not value your life, sets a powerful tone. The lyrics encourage people of color to be resilient and supportive of one another during these difficult times. Well, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe, and don't forget to share the video. Please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.